National Educator. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another exciting episode. If you see this face, just know we are going to study mathematics. Welcome, Walimu. Kindly say hi to the viewer. My name is Teacher Salome. Welcome to our lesson. And today, Mwalimu, last time you taught us about volume. And I see today you want to teach us about standard units of measuring volume. Wonderful. We are going to learn about the standard units of measuring volume and after that we will be converting the units of measuring volume. volume. And I think to start us off, yeah. we can first of all see what we did in our previous lesson so yes. that we know why it is important to have a standard unit of measuring volume. Well, you may remember what you did last time. Yes. We stuck up some boxes. Yes. To show. Mm -hmm. Can I demonstrate? Yes, go ahead. We stuck up some boxes to show uh, what volume is. Mm -hmm. And did we say that volume is a space that is occupied? Yes. Volume is a space occupied by a three dimensional, dimensional object. object. Yes. And this is what we did to demonstrate volume mm -hmm. can pass you that okay. yeah okay yes when we look at that stack of ours it has got things okay. that are on the length remember we mentioned the three dimensions were length, length uh -huh, width uh -huh. and height exactly yeah. and length is how long an item is yeah width is how wide, wide. and height it's the height how high an item is an or item even is. sometimes for the ones that are underground, yes. we use depth. Depth. I see you remember. Thank you. Okay. So now, can we count how many matchboxes are making that stack of ours? Sure. Okay. You are kindly count with me. We have one, two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. four, mm -hmm. five, mm -hmm. six, mm -hmm. seven, eight. We have Wonderful. eight boxes. Yeah. Wonderful. So those are eight boxes. cubic. Cubic. Units. units. Remember we oh. said volume is measured in cubic, cubic units. units. Okay. Oh. How about we also do the same for this? Now this one I'm going to to, to, to stack for you. Yeah. One. We still shall count eight of them. Okay. Lana, I hope you tried to stack up some uh, maybe uh -huh. items at home and maybe you can find something and practice with us. Okay. Those are four. Yeah. And I need to make eight like yours. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need eight of them. Can you imagine these are eight? Molimo, I have a question. Uh huh. Go ahead. Um, okay. We we've stuck eight boxes here mm -hmm. and eight cubes here. Mm -hmm. And why why is it that they take different spaces? Uh, why is the volume the same? All right, and that is where our lesson is headed to. Uh -huh. Remember, different units are in different sizes. sizes. They have different lengths, okay. different widths, and different heights. Yeah. In our case here, yes. when I compare the size of a matchbox and the size of a cube, yes. they're very different. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which one is bigger? The box is definitely bigger. Okay. This yeah. one is bigger than this. Yeah. And therefore, if I'm going to be counting units, I tell you I have eight cubic units, units here and the same here, I'll still have this variation when I'm counting volume. volume. Okay. okay. So in our case here, there's a solution to that problem. Hmm. We have what we call a standard unit of measuring volume. Standard unit of measuring volume. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can't you elaborate more? Okay. Now when you talk of a standard unit of measuring volume, it yeah. means that unit which is accepted everywhere in the world oh. when i measure eight units from yes. here and somebody else in marsabit measures the same eight units the volume will be the same even if you're not at the same place but we'll still 
measure the same size. Is it the same if someone is in another continent or exactly? Ah. Exactly. So when we talk of standard units of measuring, I'm going to show you an example. Okay.